Yo, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pick up a kayak. It is guys. Big old fire. Yeah. That's crazy man. It's crazy man. There's probably gonna be a lot of traffic. I used to live down this street. Just head straight down. That way. That's where I lived at the shelter, man. You made it, man. Canoga Park. So we are here. Damn, bro. Damn. Yo, check out these houses, dude. These houses are huge. So I'm definitely buying off a, a kayak off of like a retailer. All right, guys. We got the yak. Here's the yak. It's on top of the roof. It's a nice one. We got a little friend right here. Yak. We'll see if he makes it all the way to the valley. Hey, yo, we made it back home, man. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just do the review tomorrow. I'll show you guys what it is. I mean, you guys already know what it is, but you know, I'll get into detail and stuff. I'll let you guys know the plans that I have. And if uh, some of you out there, um, I know there's a few of you that watch it, um, uh, my videos. If you guys have a kayak or a float tube and you want to go fishing one day, just hit me up, man. Just hit me up. It's a field and stream, Eagle Talon, 12 footer. It did come with some uh, little defects like this right here, but I'm gonna go ahead and fix that. I'll figure it out. <laughs> Oh, uh, but yeah, that's what it is. I'm gonna go ahead and work on it, put some stuff. I already mounted on the uh, fish finder. All we need to do is um, uh, go ahead and put everything else. Okay guys, so I decided to use uh, corner braces for uh, this battery right here. Obviously here's the uh, uh, fish finder. Um, this is gonna go ahead in the front of the boat. I mean, of the kayak, obviously. I showed you guys where it was at. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, make this little mount. Cause last time I tried to do it with the zip ties, just to see how it would feel, and it was just wobbling everywhere. So we're gonna go ahead and see if this makes a difference. All right, guys. So here's what it's looking like. I'm obviously not gonna drill into the battery, but um, seems to be okay. It's pretty, pretty good on there. So we got another one down here, and another one on the side. That's going to be it for the hinges. There it is now with the uh, fish finder. Gonna go ahead and set up the cables now. What I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna wrap them around this base right here. Put the transducer through this hole. I already did all this stuff yesterday, but um, you know I just <laughs> wanted to see what what's up. Anyway, so I'll be going ahead. I'll be putting the uh, transducer through here. Then I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can make a little wooden platform. And I'm gonna go ahead and tie that on with the bungee cord. Um, Cause I don't obviously don't wanna drill holes under the kayak, but yeah. All right, y'all. So I got the transducer uh, hooked up. What I did is I used the bungee cord. Obviously I wrapped that around a bunch of times. And I put on a little piece of wood, right? So what I did is I drilled through it you guys can see I drilled through it and then once the 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 freaking uh the screws came out the other side I took a hammer and I just broke them off and now I put the the transducer through through the through the wrap see so you wrap it around the bungee cord until you get it nice and tight and look at that I mean it's obviously moving but come on man it's my first time yeah, anyways, that's done. Once it's out of the water, I, all I can do is just un unscrew this and then just take it out and then disconnect everything and uh, the piece of wood would stay on. So yeah. Okay, here's another thing I'm gonna be adding. Um, these cleats right here. I'm gonna add these uh, for the bungee cords. Um, I have quite a few. Probably bought a pack of uh, two packs of maybe eight. So there's probably 16. But I need to go ahead and secure a bucket on there. So that's what I'm gonna use these for. Also, I'm gonna go ahead and get them uh, some, uh, I don't know, I guess little locks. And uh, maybe some, uh, I wanna say aluminum wire to secure the fishing rods. 
because I am going to go ahead and start fishing uh, salt water as well. And uh, yeah, that's the plan. Also got me a nice little case for the phone. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and hook this up uh, and I'll show you guys the finished product. Okay, so we got one, two, three, all four of them are on. Now I'm just going to go ahead and get the, the bungee cord and uh, some a little, a little like a backpack. Usually I'm just going to get the stuff that I'm going to take and I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's on. Alright man, so this is what I came up with. Like I said, first time doing all this shit. So bear with me. <laughs> to reach their own though, doesn't matter. That's what I came up with. I mean obviously all I have to do is just unhook one of these and put the straps through there and I think we'll be good. Now I got this uh, 75 foot rope. What I'm gonna go ahead and do with this is I'm just gonna tie it onto a dumbbell. Maybe a 25 pound dumbbell. And that's gonna go ahead and be my anchor. But 75 feet. All right, so I just hooked that up already. That's obviously not a good job, but I did order some uh, some easy connector uh, sockets. So those should be in the mail like maybe tomorrow. But uh, that's what it's gonna look like uh, for now. Once all this is uh, you know wrapped up, I'm gonna go ahead and put um, uh, a uh, zip tie on it. Cause like I said, I can just go ahead and uh, take that out. Just connect the transducer and this will obviously stay on so that's gonna be no issue but like i said i did order that stuff and uh yeah so it does it does turn on but i mean obviously any little any little pool oh look actually pulling it, it's pretty good but obviously you disconnect it and it, it's done so yeah it's on got a working uh, fish finder guys that's obviously a simulator Oh yeah, let's go ahead and get to it. All right, man, uh, we're finally done with it. This is the uh, finished product. Um, the seat, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it like that. Um, but I do have the paddle, so whatever. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like. This is the front. And as you guys can see, I got my battery here. Fish finder. Use a bungee cord to do the transducer with the piece of wood. I cut off a. Uh, whatever was left up on the other side of the piece of wood i'm out with the hammer now i got obviously i'm gonna carry three rods it comes uh with uh two rod holders those are my saltwater fishing rods i only really only have one for fresh water and it's this one right here and uh, yeah all the bungee cords over here that's my saltwater tackle bag that's gonna be used obviously for like a little bucket uh don't forget to like this video you will get laid if you like it and uh yeah that's it later thanks for watching peace out tight lines see you guys peace. i like my bitches with fat asses look at that oh. all right peace out man